this video is dedicated to some of you new beekeepers. I want to show you a frame and I think it's pretty nice looking. I am, let's see, it's February 6th or 7th. Um, and this is the frame I pulled out of a stacked nuke, five over five. So this frame is all capped brood. I've got full pollen baskets coming in. They're not taking dry pollen. They don't really need anything. And this is a really nice frame. You can see all the pollen on the girls. So I'm gonna use this frame in one of my builders. And that's why I'm looking for capped brood. So before I shake the bees off, I'll turn it around. I kind of had it laying on there, so come on. It's a nice frame, and I'm going to show you why. When you pull the frame out, you say, oh, nice cat brood. But, you know, you want to do your inspections thoroughly. So cat brood is nice, but now you've got to see the brood. And the whole frame. So before I go ahead and shake the frame, I'm going to shake the bees off. You have to do, you don't want to really shake your queen. So you at least try to find her. If you shake your queen, yeah, that happens. But you want to try to make sure that either you're shaking right into the hive or that you're not stepping around and then all of a sudden stepping on your queen if you happen to shake her. So now that the bees are off of it, you can actually kind of appreciate what this frame looks like. You have pollen in the corners all the way around. See the ring shape? That's kind of beautiful. On the corner there is some honey. And as you move in, you see, I'll try to get this frame correct you see larva that's the white and that's beautiful velvety brown capped brood and you want to look at that for any signs of disease nice frame all worker sized cells but as you see she decided that She's going to make a few drone cells, and that's what they will do. They have to have their drones. I don't care how much worker comb you put in there. They're going to figure out a way to make a drone section. It's not something to be worried about. So there's more pupa all the way through, and then we kind of come over here to this side where we are now in larva and all the way out to the youngest which is an egg See the different age larva, and on the farthest reach is the eggs. The shiny stuff is the royal jelly, and then we're back up into our pollen. 
It's a beautiful frame. And this is the other side. Again, she decided she's going to have her drone comb. One side has a little bit of larva. They have concentric circle there of her pollen. And it's just a beautiful frame to pull at the beginning of February. Not every frame will have the drone on it. Some frames have more drone on it than others, depending on the size or what she feels necessary for her protein level. The more feed she feels she has available, the more drones that she will make. So I hope that helped some of you new beekeepers as you're pulling your frames. If it's not a full frame of cap fruit, that's fine. All ages are welcome and it eventually gets capped. The bees have to be able to cover it. So if you have a small population, you can't expect a full frame of cap brood. The brood, the larva will grow with the living population. So until next time, peace out, bruh. Wake up in the morning.